Aaron, what are we doing today? Hocus Focus Strokus. Oh, that sounds a bit iffy. No, the pre-workout. Confunct. Oh, oh, my Hocus Focus Labs. That makes sense. Hello there guys and welcome back to yet another one with us the Review Bows and it's really good to have you joined and I always say that it is great to have you following along these pre-workout reviews and today comes yet another one you know we've got a huge backlog and they're slowly making their way in and today's one comes in the form of a pre-workout by Hocus Focus Labs and it is called Kaflunked. There it is in all its glory guys and we're going to be going through the usuals taste, price, label, and effects. Is it gonna be the next product you pick up? And if you're new here, give the video a like, give it a subscribe, tick the bell icon, tick everything apart from the dislike button, let's get into it. Let's do it. So, into that taste and mixability, guys, we do know that it comes in two different flavors. And it comes in the one we've got today, which is this bubblegum looking flavour, which uh, does smell pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah. And it also comes in cherry. So in all truth, I probably would have chosen this. They just sent us this one down. Very, very uh, potent looking colours there, should we say. Right, let's do this. Mixability? Mm, not great. I did only just finish staring it 30 seconds ago as well. Could be better, but we are looking at a lot of actives, a lot of material in this. It's 26.25 grams for the free scoops. Free scoops on this bad boy. Let's do it. Oh, it's really strong tasting. That is strong. And I put extra water in, didn't I? Yeah. Nice though. Very sour, very tart. Mm. I wouldn't say there's any negatives to it though, other than if you consider those negatives or not, I actually quite like that. Mm, it's a bit too potent, but I don't really want to be drinking a freaking pint before gym either. No, it's, um, it's very sweet as well, but there's no bitterness to it. There's no nasty chemical medicinal aftertaste, is there? No. So, it'll definitely taste like bubble gum. Not a juicy fruit bubble gum, no, a different style. Mm, it is strong. Three, two, one, it? Yeah. Three, two, one, eight 7. out of 10. 7.5. Four. Mm. It probably would be eight if I had more water, but I just don't want to drink that much. No, be pissed in though. truth, if, to mix those three scoops, you would need water up mm. to there. So like, you know, 450 mil, what's that like? Six, 15, 16 ounces, maybe more, I'm not yeah. too sure. They've gone mega on the flavoring on this bad boy, haven't they? Yeah, but, um. It's doable, guys. It just be prepared for the sourness, the tartness, and the very, very strong flavouring systems that are at work here. So, let's get into the price. Okay, so that moves us nicely into the pricing segment of this review. How much are you going to be spending on this product? Well, you'll head on over to the hocusfocuslabs.com website where you'll be able to see this bad boy. Relatively new company from what we understand. We've had this tub for a few months now, sitting on that backlog, guys. And I can tell you it actually comes in quite nicely on the price in front. And it's quite a unique label, as in a serving is two scoops, and it does give you the option to go up to three scoops. It kind of looks like a bit of an anomaly, as in this is what you can do. We're not saying do that, but it's possible to give you some crazy numbers effectively, but it's still there as an option. And you know the drill here at Review Bros, we always do things on maximum serving via the label. So we're gonna go with that free scoops because we know that a large percentage of our audience will do free scoops. We'll give a quick brief rundown on two scoops, but for the, the majority of this pricing segment, we're doing it on free scoops, which is listed as I mentioned, a couple of places on this label. It comes in at £28.99 for the tub. Now, two scoops is 30 servings, 
three scoops, which we're going on is 20 servings. And doing the math on the 20 serving dosage, it will come in at a pound and 45 pence per the go. And on our very, very consistent pricing scale, comparing everything across the entire world, it comes in at a bang average five out of 10. It's an average price product. You're not getting a bargain. You're not getting something that's very expensive. If you was doing it the other way around, guys, it'd be 97 pence a go on the two scoop serving, in which case it'll be more like a seven and a half on our scale. So, you know, looking at the label, just throwing it out there, I'd probably personally be doing like two and a half scoops, so you'll get 25 servings. It's a very uh, customizable discretionary pre-workout, isn't it? Yeah. So there we go, guys. Five out of 10, slap bang average pricing product. Let's get into the label. What are we actually getting? Right, let's go through this label then. So we'll do the three scoops, 26.25 gram serving. First up, citrulline malate, nine grams, two to one. Nice dose, guys. Going to be eating six grams of citrulline, which is going to help boost nitric oxide levels and help you with nasty pumps in the gym. Nice. Beta aniline, 3.6. Which is above that clinical 3.2, guys, for the itchy, tingly type feeling. And it also helps with endurance once you've taken it for a long enough period of time. Glycosize, three grams. Nice dose again, guys. For the pumps, you're going to be drawing in moisture and uh, nutrients straight into the muscle cell with this one. So for pumpy, pumpy. Tyrosine, 2.25 grams. Good dose, guys. Normally only see it about a gram, so we're getting over double the norm here. The amino acid responsible for cognition and clarity benefits. Nice. Taurine powder, <laughs> 1,500 milligrams. Nice dose. Hydration and electrolyte balance just helping with athletic performance. Caffeine and hydrous, 375 milligrams. Above the normal, guys, we'd say a normal dosage is about 300. So we're coming on that 3.75 cups worth of coffee, guys. It's going to be pretty strong from the stimulant front with that. L-theanine, 262.5 milligrams. Which is quite a high dose, guys. Some people are like that, some people won't. That's the honest truth there. Some people call it the sleepy agent, as in it, it kind of blankets the stimulants. It helps with some of the negatives that can come with harsh stimulants in terms of jittery effects. You know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The opposite opposite of anxiety. Calmness. No, that's the same. L-theanine should stop that. <laughs> but some people say it makes you a bit too sleepy, so. Yeah, so swings and roundabouts. And then we've got Panax Ginseng Leaf Extract, 112.5 milligrams. Don't often see it in a pre. It doesn't push too much towards the pre-workout scene. It's more of a health ingredient, has antioxidant and anti-inflammatory benefits and some other nice little bits and pieces, but nothing too toward a pre-workout as such. You're not gonna feel stimmed up or anything off of it. Yeah, then we've got vitamin B6 and B3. Yep, again, just helping with general bodily function. I don't like it when they wrap that into the pre-workout as in as if it's another L-citrulline or caffeine, you know, equivalent. It's just, you know, it will take it, but yeah, yeah no, it's not really there for the pre. Yeah, and then wrapping off, we've got black pepper, 15 milligrams. Which will help with the absorption, guys, and that's probably three times the norm. So we're hoping to get some serious absorption here. Hoover time. That moves us very nicely into the effects of this product, Kaflunked by Hocus Focus Labs. Let's get into this one. Is it gonna be worth that hard earned cash you guys have been working for? Well, starting us off at the beginning as we normally do, the beta alanine, what did you think of it? It's here above the clinical dose. It didn't kick in as strong as we thought, but to a reasonable degree, maybe slightly above average. You get a bit of heating and tingles, but there is quite a lot in there to digest, you know, hefty dosages, so we tend to find it takes a bit more of a backseat in those scenarios, even though it has got a hefty digestive aid as well. Yeah, and the niacin, guys, for that flushing, it's got, mm. you know, 22 and a half milligrams, so that's over 100% of your daily right there. And you do feel that, it kind of amplifies the beta alanine. What would I honestly give the beta alanine feels out of 10? It's a tough one to answer, but probably like a, a seven or an eight out of 10. So if you like beta alanine, it's still there. It is still there, guys. And I think it has the potential to do some more. Um, for example, the other day when I used it, I did feel it a bit stronger than today. So there is, there is that to be said. Now, what comes in 
shortly after that, I would say is a very nice, smooth wave of energy. I wouldn't say it's a, a ridiculously strong pre-workout. It doesn't slap you in the face and make you go, you know, all crazy in the gym. But it was nice. It was quite a nice feeling of uh, stimulation. It wasn't ridiculous, as I mentioned. I think the L-theanine did hold it back. It sort of took that caffeine and pulled it back and said, get back here, boy, you're not going loose. And uh, it felt smooth and it never actually, even though it did peak quite nicely, it never crashed off ridiculously. I think the L-theanine actually did what it intends to do here and it smooths it over. If you absolutely hate, hate the L-theanine, then I don't think you'd enjoy this pre-workout. But myself, Craig, we're not, we don't mind it. We're, um, it doesn't crash us off ridiculously like some people say it does. Um, so energy, what would you give it out of 10, honestly? About a seven out of 10, it is just the caffeine that's riding it, and obviously the L-theanine does slow things down a bit from that standpoint, so yeah, seven out of 10, definitely above average. I'd say it hits probably harder than you might initially think, based on it only having that one stimulant, it's certainly enough to get the job done for most sessions. Yeah, absolutely, it would It would just about suffice for leg and back days. It's probably stronger than, it, well, it definitely is stronger than just an average pre-workout mm. out there. Now looking at the focus element, which is obviously another element we look for from the pre-workouts, that was probably its weakest area, but still okay. You know, I still felt pretty dialed in. I still moved from exercise to exercise to exercise. I didn't get distracted as such. I felt nice on it. It almost came also with a slight bit of mood elevation. I felt generally good on it. I felt generally daily driver could use this pre-workout you know, all the time with no negatives as such. It's a feel good pre-workout. And I think there's another reason for that. And what's that third element we look for? That is the pumps. And they were, as you can probably tell from the label, nasty. And it even says nasty pumps on the tub, I think. So yeah, that is the standout point, quite obviously. So, and that kind of does tie in with the focus to a degree, even though focus is its weakest element, it does still pull through on the pumps, but mainly because of those pumping groups. Yeah, and those pumps, you know, when you get nasty, nasty pumps, you can't help but feel a bit of that mood elevation, a bit of, yeah, I feel good, let's keep crushing it. Connected so, to the session. Yeah, and it was quite a nice combination of a dry, internal, contractional, dirty pump, alongside a slightly watery, balloon man style pump, if Glycerol. that makes sense. Yeah, and no, I think that's the glycosides that's in there. It kind of gives that watery like just under the skin type feel pump whereas it also came with the in you know that mind to muscle dirty contractional pump so yeah as craig said pumps are definitely the best element of this pre-workout pushing nine nine and a half out of ten it's one of that is one of the best elements from it and i'm not surprised either we normally ignore the label but in this case the label actually came together you know nine grams of citrulline to malate glycosides taurine you know, and it just it just came together well. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a bread and butter pre-workout, and it's doing the basics, but it's doing them well. It's not fluffing it up with like ingredients that are kind of maybe going to work in studies. It's only using the real chunky, proven, decent ingredients, isn't it? Yeah, other than the Panex ginseng, which you could argue. A bit fluffy, yeah. A little bit, a, a little bit. You don't really necessarily, you wouldn't feel that as a pre-workout. That's why you could just take it standalone in a pill form first thing in the morning with your breakfast. You know, it's not, not in there to really attribute anything to the pre-workout Ma massively anyway massively um so all in all there's a couple of things i'd say i personally would do two and a half scoops so you get 25 servings making it i don't know i've not done the maths but probably about a pound 20 ago roughly so that i actually do think is worth the money i do think it's worth the money um, it's also a solid, solid daily driver. It's not a stim junkie pre-workout. It's a solid daily use pre-workout. I'd be happy using this, you know, pretty much every single day, especially at two and a half scoots where you drop that caffeine down to like, I don't know, 300-ish realm. So yeah, solid, worth the money. It's not really losing out in any areas maybe the focus ever so ever so slightly but honestly 
It's, it's good, isn't it? Yeah, maybe endurance, like there's no betaine and, you know, creatine or L of ATP or any, or Pico 2, nothing really like that. So you could argue the endurance side is a little bit lacking slash power side. But yeah, there's no negatives to it. Beginners will be all right with it. Intermediate users, people that take training seriously, bodybuilders for that pump element, perhaps. But yeah, not stim junkies. Yeah, no, a solid product. I would, use, I would honestly be happy using it again in the future. Yeah, it's just a good. I like the taste of it maybe a bit more water i would have made it a bit better the price is good and like a, like pretty much pretty much solid all rounder so it's definitely definitely worth looking into um it's very very customizable via the dosages on there well done hocus focus labs for your first pre-workout it'd be interesting like like you say if they could add a couple more bits and pieces but of course that would bring up the price yeah I think it's I think it's in line with everything. I would I'd check it out. So if that sounds right to you, then do that. Um, do drop your thoughts, feelings, and all the rest of it below. If you've used this product, definitely let us know. Yeah, appreciate you guys watching at home. As always, stay stimmed. There we go. Cheers, guys.